question number 15 here in the whole question they have not given you the profit and loss ratio so here i have assumed profit and loss ratio into the equal proportion now let's start with the adjustment first is the closing stock 10000 out of which 50 percent has no market value now no market value so we are not going to put any other entry for the 50 percent so first let remove the 10000 50 percent it would be 5000 as per the same what we have done in the last question will move closing stock uh, in the trading account that is 5000 and another entry will be in the asset side next legal charges include to the legal charges of building purchase 4000 now legal charges related to the building is going to be add with the 4000 and from the legal charges will remove this 4000 let's check where is the legal charges here it is 6500 let's make a mark 6500 legal charges with the amount 6000 500 which have been added by mistakely of the building legal charges 4000 get it minus and it would be 2500 and take this to the building now let's check the amount of building here we found 46000 take it and add legal charges that is 4000 I'm keeping it inside because there is an adjustment related to the building so we'll do it later next is provide 5% back on debtor so first let's check the debtor here we found debit side debtor will be and the credit side it would be creditor so here we got debtor 31,000 take to the asset column 31,000 now here we don't have we, in the adjustment they have not given you bad debt so directly we'll remove 5% on 31,000 for bad debt reserve so here we calculate 31,000 with the 5 we get 1,550 take it get it minus 29,450 this has to be take to the profit and loss and bad debt reserve in the adjustment write down 1550 next provide depreciation 10% on furniture and 5% on building for furniture let's check the furniture over here and depreciation on furniture the same what we have done in the 14 question so first we'll take the furniture 3000 plus the depreciation on furniture so furniture is amount 3000 where we are going to add depreciation on furniture which we got from the trial balance is 300 and here we get the amount 3000 take the calculation 3300 remove 10 percent it would be 330 get it minus the depreciation on furniture from the adjustment that is 3000 uh, sorry 330 amount it would be 2970 trial balance will keep it here only but for the adjustment we'll take to the another entry over here depreciation on furniture with the amount 330 next we'll do for the building uh, here we already got the building amount that is 50,000 take this 50,000 for the calculation remove the five percent it is 2500 now get it minus here depreciation on building 2500 where we get 47500 take this depreciation to the profit and loss account on building that is 2500 sorry okay next one third share of patent and trademark is to be write off. Now, first take the patent and trademark that is your asset 2700. 
here the calculation is if we take the one third of 2700 we get 900 now write off means to get it minus come here and write down pattern and trademark with the amount 2700 write off means get it minus with the 900 here we get 1800 and the amount of write off has to be moved to your profit and loss account write off patent and trademark that is nine yeah we yeah we finished with all the adjustment now we'll move to the trial balance now let's start with the debit side first debit side means your your capital and drawing together so here it would be drawing five thousand and two thousand five hundred going to the partner's capital account write down one four sixteen two write down drawing only better not to get confused drawing account uh, 5000 for harsh and 2500 for yesha next goodwill is your asset 5000 take to the asset column goodwill that is 5000 next pattern and trademark that we already took here we took the debtors but creditors still left that will do later account of goods now this account of goods means your purchase and sales take it and put over here with the purchase amount i'm keeping it inside let's see if we got the returns and sales it is eighty nine thousand two hundred and fifty. next uh, machine fifteen thousand so that is your asset machine 15,000. Next, opening stock 6,000. Over here, to opening stock 6,000. Next is furniture that we already took. Here we got the returns. Uh, the debit side return is your sales return 7,500. First, we'll write down sales return 7,500. And the 5,000 which we found on your credit side, that's your purchase return. Minus purchase return 5,000. We calculate it, get it minus and take it out with the 35,000. And for this, 81,750. Next, here we finish with the returns. Next is wages 4,000 which will move to the trading account wages 4000 next depreciation on furniture we did stationery and printing 1550 to the profit and loss debit side stationery and printing 1550 next is building that we have already done legal charge is also done Cash balance 300, which will move to the asset side. Cash balance that is 300. Next, railway will move to your trading account. Railway freight amount 600. Next, insurance premium 1150 comes in the profit and loss account debit side insurance premium 1150 postage x oh sorry bills now this bills this is your bills receivable and that's your bills payable so take bills receivable to the debt side four thousand and here on the liability side bills payable that is your 2500 next is postage expense which will come on the profit and loss expense side postage expense that is 2000 next is bad debt and bad debt reserve here your bad debt and that's your bad debt reserve 1500 from the trial balance 1500 and 2000 from the creditor side sorry credit side that is yeah 
2000. I hope you understand that is from the trial balance and this two from the edges. Calculation out. If we add this two, we'll get 3050. Get minus with 2000. Outside it would be 1050. So here we finish with this two amount. Next is discount on the debit side will move to the profit and loss debit side only and the credit side will move to the credit side. That is your discount allowed and that is discount received. To discount allowed 750 by discount received is 1500. So here we done. Now stamp on hand and bad debt return. Stamp on hand is 150 and bad debt return is 1000. So first we will take the stamp on hand on the asset side. That's the first time you are looking for. So remember stamps on hand that is 150 and bad debt return means the recovered 1250 which will come to the profit and loss credit side bad debt here recovered okay that is 1250 then the last is the hdfc loan 10,000 comes on your liability side 12 percent hdfc loan that is 10,000 now in the question they didn't give you to calculate but you can see the date is given and the loan is given percentage also given so here we are going to make a calculation on it. Interest on loan, take the amount 10,000. Your date is given 1st of July. From 1st July 2016 to 31st March 2017. If you calculate the month, it is calculated by 9 month. And in the question, they have given you 12%. So here we have calculated 12%. Agar nahi diya ho, to we'll calculate by 6%, right? So, if we make a calculation, we got the 900. That's your hidden adjustment. So, write down interest on loan 900. And also write down in your profit and loss account by writing interest on loan 900. That's it. Now, we'll complete on the credit side. Now, the capital is 35,000 and 15,000. Write down as an opening balance over here. With the 1st April 2016 by balance brought forward 35,000 and 15,000 next creditor 25,000 which will return on your liability side creditor that is 25,000 next let's check all the entry we have finished with you already we marked everything so here we finish everything so now we'll make a total of it. So you are ready with the total 86,750 and 45,600. First we'll write down 86,750 because it is comparatively more. 86,750. Get minus with 45,600. You will get the difference of 41,150. Difference comes on the debit side. So that means it's your gross profit. Move to the cross by gross profit. It is 45,000, sorry, 41,150. If we total this three amount, we'll get 43,900. And if we total this amount, we'll get 13,630. Obviously, this one is more. So, 43,900, I'm going to write both the side. 43,900 get minus with 13,630 you will get the difference of 30,270 that's net profit which will move at the cross at the credit side in your profit and loss appropriate account net profit with the amount 30,270 as we can see there is no amount given on your debit side. So the same amount will carry forward. 30,270 which will be moved as a divisible profit. This time difference comes on your debit side. Between the partner, 
हर्ष एंड यशा एंड दिस इज गोइंग टू बी मूव इन टू द इक्वल प्रपोर्शन सो इट वुड बी फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड वन हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी फाइव to the both the partner will move at the cross over here 31st march 2017 by divisible profit 15135 15135 now let's make the total of this column here we can see it is only 5000 Thousand one hundred and thirty-five, which is comparatively more. So I'm going to write both the side. So the difference found over here with the amount forty-five thousand one hundred and thirty-five, thirty-first March two thousand seventeen, to balance. See if that is closing balance. Now this next part now, where we find the total over here, it is two thousand five hundred, and here it is. Thirty thousand one hundred and thirty-five. So obviously here it is more. So which is going to be written at the both the side. Thirty thousand one hundred and thirty-five. And if we get it minus with this, we get twenty-seven thousand six hundred and thirty-five. And that's your capital account. Take the both the balance over here by giving the heading capital. Write down the name of a partner. Harsha Nisha, forty-five thousand one hundred and thirty-five, twenty-seven thousand six hundred and thirty-five. It is seventy-two thousand seven hundred and seven. Your balance sheet got tally. Take a last look. Trading account, profit and loss account, profit and loss appropriate and partners capital account. That's balance sheet, and here the calculation.